Hello friends, my name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. And I have a question for you. What is your favorite exhibit at the Children's Museum? Mine is Bubbles. And I bet that's the favorite for a lot of you too. I'm really missing the Bubbles exhibit now while we're closed. But I'm gonna show you how you can make your own Bubbles exhibit at home. The first thing you'll need to do is mix up some bubble solution. You'll need two things, water and Dawn dishwashing soap. And this isn't an ad, this isn't a sponsor. This happens to be the best dish soap out there for making good bubbles. You'll need one cup of soap for every one gallon of water. So you can make more than a gallon, you can make less than a gallon, but the ratio is one cup of soap to one gallon of water. You wanna pour the water into a bin like this one, or a bucket, and then add the soap. That's important. Water first, soap second. And then gently mix it so that you don't get a lot of foam. And then, and this is a trick that I learned from my friend, Mike the Bubble Man, let it sit. That is the hardest part. You wanna let your bubble solution sit for at least a day, maybe two. And according to Mike the Bubble Man, that is the best way to get bubble solution that will work really well. If you have glycerin, you can add a tiny little bit, like a tablespoon to your mixture. You could also add some corn syrup, we don't do those things at the Children's Museum, but you can certainly try them at home. My solution here is just made of soap and water, and you'll see it works fine. I mixed it up yesterday, and I'm ready to try it out today. So now maybe you're thinking, well, I don't have any good bubble toys. Sure you do. Look around your kitchen. Do you have any cookie cutters or slotted spoons or spatulas? Anything you have in your kitchen with a hole in it will work. I don't know what these are for. You have a fly swatter. We use cheap plastic fly swatters at the museum and they make great little bubbles. Pipe cleaners can be twisted into all kinds of fun shapes that make for great bubble tools. Now, I don't happen to have any of those things. What I do have on hand are some straws and string. And straws and string make a great, simple <laughs> bubble tool. I didn't even have to blow that one. The wind did it for me. Let's see if it'll do it again. So you can see all I did was run some string through a couple of straws and boom, I've got a bubble tool. I made another one that's got this extra line down the middle. You can get crazy with this. Here's one that's three dimensional. And if you don't even have straws and string lying around, you do have your two hands. It doesn't take much to make your own bubbles exhibit and to have a lot of fun with bubbles. So try it out at home. It's a great thing to do outside with friends. You don't even have to get too close to each other to have fun with bubbles. You can each have your own container with your own toys. So get outside, have fun with bubbles, and we really hope to see you soon back at the museum inside our bubbles exhibit. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.